Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira Advanced Roadmap tutorial, we'll discuss about the review changes, right? So as you, as I have already explained in previous couple of tutorials that unless and until you basically review the changes and save it back to Jira, any changes that you do here on the plan are local to the plan, okay? So anything, say for example, I have changed the timeline or dates and anything, it is not yet saved to the Jira. So if, say for example, here I have updated the J date, the start date and end date for this particular issue, this is still specific to this plan. In order to update this, I have to go to the review changes and then we will discuss what all options are there in the review changes. Now, any changes that you are doing here, right? So say for example, I updated the details here, you will see that the updates are being counted and you have to go ahead and see the changes that you have done on this plan. So if I click on this review changes, it will list List all the changes that have been done. Now on this particular screen you have the filter so you can select who has done the changes so by default it is all but you can select the users you can just type start typing in the users and select the users for whom you want to search for the changes okay I'll keep it as all and you will see by default all of the items that have been updated are selected and then here from here you can see what all has changed right so what exactly has changed so due date and start date has changed for this particular issue and similarly for this one the same thing so all of the details will be recorded and it will also show you when exactly those details are were modified okay along with that you will see the warnings displayed here as well you will see that this issue has been removed from active sprint so any of the warning that is still there in the plan will be displayed in the review changes okay now if you are happy with all of the changes that are done okay in the plan after reviewing here when you click on save selected changes in jira only then these changes that have been done here so say for example this due date is 18th October and start date is 28th of September for this particular task this will get saved back into this particular issue so if I open this issue now the due date and start date will be something different so if you see this particular task here okay so at the moment the start date is none okay and due date is none as well okay let me move this side you'll see the due date is none as well okay so that means whatever we have changed in this particular plan is not yet saved these fields are not yet saved so as soon as we will save this these changes in jira the due date and start date should be the same that is displayed here so 18th of october and 28th of september 21 okay if you do not want to save these changes to Jira, you can click on discard selected changes and you can deselect some of the changes. Say for example, I do not want to save this change to Jira. So you can deselect that and then save the rest. Okay. Cancel will just cancel it and it will not discard the changes. Okay. So it'll, it will just close this window. So if I review these changes again, now let's see when I save this changes in Jira, and refresh this particular issue you will see it is saving and now none of the changes are remaining to be reviewed now if i refresh this task again it should have start and due date being populated now so you'll see the start date is there okay and the due date is also being populated there so this is basically what happens when you review the changes and save it to jira otherwise any changes that you are doing here in the plan will remain in the plan and won't be saved by Back unless you go ahead and review these and save it back to Jira right it clearly says so many times it, it uh, might be a possibility that you might wonder why things are not happening or why you know Jira is not reflecting the overall saved details right by default it is saved in the plan but not goes back into Jira unless we do this save selected changes in Jira which is very clear right, right? there's nothing too fancy or too technical about these things but uh, these are simple things which which I wanted to cover just in case um, you are very new to the planning feature of this Jira advanced roadmap it will give you a fair bit of idea Get, go through what all features are there and how you can navigate and use them okay so that's all about uh, the review changes in Jira. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.